2015 through present day Lexus NX 200T F Sport spark plug replacement. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you step by step through the process of changing out the spark plugs. We're gonna get started by removing the top engine cover. It's just held on some rubber grommets, so you just lift upwards and pull it off like this, set it aside. Now we're gonna take the four bolts holding the coils down and remove these. We're gonna leave the coils all plugged in. We're not gonna unplug these. Milwaukee Tools came out with a brand new stubby quarter inch uh, impact gun here and I'm putting it to use, trying it out. So far this little compact impact has been one of my favorites. So once you get the four coils all unbolted, we're gonna lift them up. We're gonna leave those wires connected to it. We're not gonna disconnect it. So you're gonna pull them all up like this. Now you're just gonna lift them up and push them back towards the firewall out of your way. So these spark plugs are recommended to be replaced at 40,000 miles. And I think this is the perfect job for the, your do-it-yourselfer to save yourself some money. So you're gonna need a, a, a ratchet, about a 12 inch long extension and a standard 5 8 spark plug socket. We're gonna put it down the hole and we're gonna crack it free. I recommend you support it with one hand and loosen it with the other hand and go ahead and remove the, all four of the spark plugs. We're gonna be installing NGK factory replacement spark plugs. I will link these up in the description of the video along with the tools that I'm using. These spark plugs come pre-gap from the factory, but I recommend that you check and make sure that they're not damaged. The tips of them are not damaged anyway. If they are, I recommend you return them and get uh, new ones. The electrodes are so small and fine that it's not recommended gapping them because they easily get damaged. But I do recommend that you take a spark plug gapper and at least check and see if they're in, the, in spec. Uh, I'm not recommending that you pry on or adjust them at all, but recommend that you check them. I'll link up in the description of the video the, uh, the specs for the uh, spark plug gap and also for the torque spec when we go to tighten these down. So if you notice, there's no anti-seize on the old threads of the spark plugs that we took out. And NGK does not recommend using anti-seize on any of the spark plugs that they sell. It interferes with the grounding of the spark plug. So I'm going to be installing these dry and I recommend you do the same thing. And I got this information straight from NGK themselves. So my spark plug socket has a magnet built into it. So I just installed the spark plug and then fed it down into the hole like this. And then I started this all by hand. I don't use any power tools when doing this. I th uh, thread them in and then I torque them all down to 18 foot pounds. You'll feel the crush washer crush and then uh, it'll, it'll torque out at 18 foot pounds. Now we're ready to reinstall our coil. So I start with the number one cylinder first and then I go number two, three, four, kind of at the same time. So I'll lift them all up and I'll feed them all down here just like this. You wanna make sure that the wires are laid in the correct uh, pattern. They're not overlapping each other. So you'll feed them all down here. Once you get them all in there, you can go ahead and start all, all four bolts and go ahead and tighten those down. I just run them down to their snug. You don't need to bear down on them. If you're using hand tools, just tighten them down to their snug and about a quarter turn more. Now we're ready to take the top engine cover and remount it. It just has these little rubber grommets here that mount onto these little posts. So there's gonna be uh, four little rubber grommets and there's gonna be four little posts that you're gonna look for. So there's, they're back here in the back and then two in the front and you'll line up the oil cap and you'll just kind of center it over it. And once you get it all centered, you just push down until it fully locks in. You'll feel it snap into place. So I will link up the spark plugs and tools that I use in this video in the description. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.